Watch you guys got another video on how to uninstall and disable SMB version 1 in Windows 10 or Windows 11. We're on Windows 11 here, but you can do it in Windows 10 as well. Now, we're not going to be using the Windows feature area. We're going to be using PowerShell to do this because I thought it'd make a difference and a change. And you can also create a script to do this as well. You shouldn't have this enabled in 2024 because this is 30 years old protocol and it's really super risky to use this. It was created in the 80s and Microsoft started using it in the 90s. So if you want to disable it, you can use this command here. This will basically disable the SMB1 protocol. So you can type this out. Remember, you can use your tab key to basically quick type if it comes up on the screen here. You can see it's already grayed out here, but you can use your tab key and it will type it out quicker. Once you get this uh, confirmed here, we need to type either yes or a for yes for all and this will basically uh, disable that feature we can now verify whether that smb version 1 protocol is disabled by typing out this next command and this will tell us that uh, the smb is disabled so let's go ahead and quickly type this out here and again you can use your tab key to quickly type this out if it appears up on the screen but in my case it hasn't so i'm going to type it out and you can see it's now set to false, which tells me that it has been disabled. But if you want to uninstall it because yours is enabled, then you'll need to use this next command and this will uninstall it from your computer, which you should do because you shouldn't be using it. So to uninstall SMB version one, you need to type out this command here and you could use your tab key and see I'm going through it here and it will basically find those words and it will then allow us to quickly type this out. So let me go ahead and push enter here. And you can see it says running. And do you want to restart the computer to complete this operation? It's going to then uninstall it for us. I'm going to say yes. This will then reboot the computer and it will update our system and start restarting. And then during the boot up process, you will then see that the SMB version one has been disabled and uninstalled on our computer. Now, like I said, you can do this in the Windows feature area, which is a lot easier for people, but it's always nice to know that you can do it via PowerShell as well. So let's go ahead and open up the start button here and doing the search Windows features, you can see turn Windows features on or off. And in this location right here, you will see the SMB is all unchecked and it's been removed from the computer. And that's basically what you want to do there because you don't want this on the system at all. Now, I have seen a lot of people uh, still using this because it does help find NASes on the local network a lot easier. But unfortunately, there is a major security risk leaving that enabled in 2024. Anyway, just a quick one for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.